This baby grabbed the finger tightly and pulled hard towards his face. What's he up to? He's using his nose to smell. The kids were frightened and decided to smother him. The hot lady rushed over, hearing the screams. No one could have expected she would save a pervert. He's peculiar and weird, with a sense of smell far beyond the norm. He can even smell when an apple is thrown at him. Ten years later, the hot lady sold him to a leather maker. On this day, the boss asked him to deliver some leather. It was his first time entering the city. He almost passed out because there was a scent that was truly wonderful. He chased after it, desperately sniffing, which scared a girl so much she trembled. She kindly gave him two peaches, but Jack grabbed onto her delicate hand instead. The girl bolted in fear, yet, following the scent, Jack tracked her down to her house. The girl was earnestly cutting peaches, unaware of the danger, getting closer and closer. Jack sniffed for a full half hour. She only felt something was off after a while. Jack clamped his hand over her mouth. Suddenly, someone passed by. Jack quickly backed off while still holding onto the girl until she lost her fight. Once he sniffed, her natural scent was gone. He was quite disappointed. He decided to create something, something that could preserve the wonderful aroma of a young girl's body. The girl was immersed for 24 hours, then wrapped in a layer of oily cotton cloth. The fat scraped from her body was placed in a basin. Alcohol was added and stirred, then filtered into a container. Finally, it underwent boiling. A unique perfume was produced. Jack slowly brought the perfume to his nose and took a sniff. This was the scent he had aimed for, a successful capture of the girl's essence. However, the fragrance of a single girl couldn't satisfy him, so he prepared a total of 13 bottles. He intended to use 13 young girls to create a perfume called 13 Scents that could bewitch people's minds. In this town, more and more girls inexplicably disappeared. They were all found completely naked, their hair shaved off, yet they were not sexually assaulted. The residents lived in constant fear, each person feeling like they could be next. The town lord speculated that the murder wasn't in it from money or sex. So, what the hell were he collecting? Suddenly, a strong sense of urgency gripped him. After all, who could be more beautiful than his own daughter? Without wasting time, he fled with his daughter under the cover of night. But Jack had already set his sights on her. With his freakish sense of smell, he locked onto her scent from miles away. Unfortunately, the girl fell victim too. The 13 cents plan was a twisted success, but Jack was captured as well. The crowd gathered in the square, raising their arms and shouting in anger, demanding this murderer get what he deserves. However, the moment Jack stepped down from the carriage, everyone's expressions turned into ones of adoration and joy. The executioner on the platform knelt before him, tore off his hood, and yelled. This one. This Jack pulled out the 13 cents perfume. He dropped a single drop on a handkerchief and elegantly waved it around. Suddenly, everyone couldn't help but kneel before him. People began loosening their clothes, touching and embracing each other. What was once a vast square turned into an open-air carnival. He cried, but it wasn't joy. All he could think of was the very first girl. No matter how potent the perfume, it couldn't match up to her. He returned to Paris, going back to the marketplace where he was born. He poured the entire bottle of perfume onto himself. The people around him lit up with desire, swarming him until there was nothing left of him. 